Hey, down in front, some people are trying to watch you on your home security camera. Also, put some pants on. About a year ago, sites like 4chan and Reddit went nuts when they discovered a security flaw in some of TrendNet's security cameras. The flaw basically allowed anyone to watch thousands of unsecured at-home IP camera feeds at will, creating both the creepiest and most boring episode of Cribs imaginable. TrendNet, however, was quick to issue a firmware update to eliminate the problem, even going the extra mile by pulling affected cameras from store shelves, effectively killing off the peeping Tom paradise. You like to watch? Watch this. But as anyone with parents who don't understand technology can tell you, firmware updates don't always make it out to every device that require them. Which is why today, over a year after the exploit was first discovered, a Google Maps powered web app is allowing anyone to watch unsecured trend cam feeds from around the world. While it appears the site was launched with the best of intentions, given the huge banner telling you to upgrade your security firmware, it still allows anyone to specifically target the location of a flawed security camera and watch it will. And while most of the feeds are of empty restaurants, some still show you a clear view of someone's home, which, thanks to specific GPS data in Google Maps, has the potential to open the door to more scenes like this. But what can you do to protect your security camera feed from being broadcast all over the internet without your knowing? I chatted with ThreatWire Shannon Morse this afternoon to find out more. Hey Shannon, so what can users at home with webcams do to protect themselves from something like this happening to them in the future? Hey Scott, so I would say the first thing that people can do is, of course, don't buy a TrendNet webcam because those are the ones that have the vulnerability. Um, if you are living at home and you do have an online webcam, another thing you can do is uh, purchase one that has one of those little privacy screens. I have a Logitech webcam that I use at home whenever I'm, uh, you know, doing Skype-ins and whatnot, and it has a little privacy flip, that a little plastic piece that I just flip over the lens, and that's pretty much as much protection as you need. Now, if it has a microphone, that's not going to cover up any kind of microphone that might be streaming out onto the website. Uh, so another thing you could do is unplug the USB. And both of those are very simple steps that people can take to make sure that they're being private at home when they need to be. Another thing people can do is um, say if they do have a TrendNet webcam or if they do have one that is connected to the internet, to the World Wide Web, make sure that it is privately protected by a username and a password for that specific IP address. Um, another example would be Belkin. They have this new one called Netcam HD and it has a username and password protected so that you can only log into it if you have those specific uh, login credentials. Therefore, if if you go to that IP address without that information, you can't log in. All right, well, thanks, Shannon. That was really insightful. Now, TrendNet insists they've done the best they can to raise awareness of the issue, but since many cameras are put to use without properly registering them, it's impossible to notify everyone, stating that, quote, it is an ongoing project. So, you know, if you see your webcam streaming via the web app, and odds are since you're watching a technology news show on the internet, yours isn't, update your firmware. And finally, I'd like to once again thank Shannon Morse from ThreatWire for stopping by. Remember, you can watch her show ThreatWire every Sunday right here on TechFeed. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying, are any of these unsecured feeds of puppies? I feel like I would love to watch another puppy cam.